Now, he has a look at the science behind sharks and the weather. Hey, Crystal, a part of what makes sharks so amazing is how they can adapt in the water to the weather. You know how some people's knees hurt when it's about to rain? A shark's body does something very similar. Meteorologist Mark Elliott examines the science behind sharks and how their bodies are very much like barometers. Welcome to the Weather Channel Shark Aquarium. Why sharks in the Weather Channel, you may ask? Well, it turns out sharks may actually hold a key to being another forecasting tool for us here at the Weather Channel. So we talked to Dr. Lauren Smith, who did her PhD thesis all about sharks and how they can actually sense changes in the weather even while under the water. How do they do this? Well, let's scan a shark here and take a look. This is the shark balance system, kind of like our inner ear. It pops if you go up in an airplane. Well, a shark has the vestibular system and a series of hairs along this line that can sense these small changes in barometric pressure. And this has some real-world applications to the sharks. You know what? Let's take a look at one of these real-world applications here. Let's say, for example, that it's normal pressure. The sharks, and especially the juveniles, might be hanging out in shallow water. Now, this is where they should normally be, but let's say a hurricane is coming on through. This hurricane would drop the pressures dramatically, and that triggers a change in the sharks. See, they swim faster, they swim more frequently, they swim deeper, and this puts them below below the wave action, below the surge, below all the weather, and they won't have any problems at all if they're in the deeper water. But they will come back up to the shallow water once the pressure normalizes, and that keeps the sharks and the shark population safe. So you know what? Sharks with more research may actually wind up being a great forecasting tool when it comes to landfalling hurricanes. Of course, Dr. Lauren Smith cautions us and says a lot more research is needed on this not very well-known creature. Back to you. Mark, thank you very much for that. Coming up next, right here on Weather Center Live, we're tracking.